Welcome once again. My name is Ola John Femi. Popularly called I Am Busy and the platform is Solution Plus, where we deal with issues, where we discuss solutions to issues, and not just solutions to issues, we discuss homegrown solutions. And today I have with me once again our analyst. Okay, let me quickly introduce him. I still have with me once again. Mr. Olua Dami Larbre Adeleke Ishola in the house. Welcome once again, my brother. Thank you very much. It's nice uh, having you around and it's nice being on this platform once again. Uh -huh. Yes, you are welcome. You are welcome on the platform. Um, but before we start today's, pro uh, today's discussion, I really want us to know that we have treated several issues, but today we are going to have a special edition where we'll take some of those things that are trending in our um, society today and we'll just be doing a, a form of discussion where we need to uh, come up with our own solution mind you whatever we discuss here they are not binding they are just our opinion as an analyst and interviewer so we'll be discussing around those trending issues and things that we think we can actually take as solutions and before we do that let's quickly go on short break and after the break i'll be engaging my guests and we'll discuss issues that are trending in our society thank you very much yeah. If I told you how I came this far And all the things that I've been through Need I tell you that I've been to hell I've seen it all and done it all Growing up as a child wasn't easy Had to work twice as hard I was easy Grandma was my inspiration Every day there was what for situation uh, Shoes, no laces, brand no tea But I kept on coming slow But that's when I looked to the mirror, and I told myself this was high. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. And I say, This little light of mine, Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Let me tell you how I got this far. Welcome back once again. My name is still Ola John Femi, popularly called and busy Lil, and the platform is Solution Plus. I still have in the house with me our regular analyst and in person of Mr. Ulua Damlari Adeloke Ishola. Uh, today, the first thing, I think, the first area that we are going to look at, the issue of education. For any country to reasonable develop, they must take education as one of the primary sector that must be well funded and on that note we have issues in our uh, society around education in fact it is obvious that education is underfunded is underfinanced in our own current situation from primary school to tertiary level although we are not going to take all the levels primary, secondary, or the tertiary level. But we are going to take the one that is trending now, and that is the issue of as as a strike. How did we get here? And what could be the solution to some of these, to this lingering problem? So I have in the house with me, Mr. Oluwada Mlari, and he will be doing justice to some of these things. And we also have um, the issue of minimum wage. We also have the issue of minimum wage and we have other other issues that we'll be discussing today. But as a way of starting the program, sir, the issue of as a strike has been reoccurring and reoccurring and reoccurring and reoccurring. What can you say to this issue of as a strike? Uh, thank you, Mr. Moderator. Uh, nice to be here once again. Um, concerning the issue of uh, as a strike, uh, like I've rightly mentioned, you know, it has been a recurring decimal uh, in Nigerian national history. And um, for the fact that, you know, the ones that have happened earlier on mm -hmm. have not been resolved, 
you know, is what is still leading us to what we still have here today. Mm. And if, you know, as of today, this issue is not also well resolved, it will also lead to a, a further problem, you know, in future, whereby, you know, this issue of strike, as a strike, you know, we still uh, continue to come on board, you mm. know, and when we talk about um, education in Nigeria. And of course, if you want to ask me, say, why are they on strike anyway? Mm. You know, what is uh, the, the reason for such uh, industrial action? Mm. Is it that the uh, ASU you know, does not want to work? Is it that uh, you know, they just like, okay, we don't even, we just want to take and a Before break. you go into that, um, I think I should do the questioning. Um, the, 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 the thing is, so that we won't waste much time because we have several other things to um, to actually discuss to discuss on the program today. Um, the question is, I got admission into university in 2003, and although I have spent several years at home, and as far as I can remember, we have been experiencing this issue from that time till today. And of course, government is continuing. Why is this strike still persisting even till now? Why? Yes, that is what I'm trying to explain. You know, we we do not have a, a government that pays attention on education. Mm. And uh, you know, at your um, when you are introducing yourself the other time, mm. you, know, you talk about the fact that uh, you know we always have this issue of. Um, the you know, government not uh, you know uh, paying attention on the education on different levels of education generally not mm. only on the tertiary education as we have now mm. you know we there is this um, lack of willingness mm. you know to actually uh, support education in this nation mm. so well government changes parties changes but what what we do have is just like the, the same government the same elite anyway you know, the same mind, the same orientation, mm. you know, and like we have said in one, the, the, in, in, uh, in this platform, in one of these uh, uh, discussions that you see, the elites are not really, really interested in, um, you know, um, education of, of, the, of the commoners, of mm. Nigerians, you know, I think it pays them, you know, that we are less educated, and even if we are educated, it pays them that we, you know, we are like let me say half educated, or we remain at the level of uh, uh, mediocre. You know, it has a gain, you know, for them. And you will observe, you will observe that many of the children of these people are not schooling in this nation. You know, they are they are being sent abroad. Many of them are being sent to you know, uh, many of the developed democracies to go and learn. To go so, and what's the solution to this lingering problem? Yes, the solution to this lingering problem, I would say part of it is what is what ASU is doing now. So part of it is what ASU is doing now, as in uh, holding the government responsible, putting them on their toes to do the needful as far as the education is I, concerned. I, 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 I would not want to agree with that because this they have been doing this from years in memory. That is why I said part of it. Okay. Part of it. Okay. Now, you know, it's a combination of part that makes up a whole. Mm. Now, we also, on our own, you know, we should not just be looking at ASU. In fact, I, I'm expecting, you know, it, it's just like this thing has been like ASU problem. Mm. I'm not, I'm, I, I, what I'm expecting from the labor union is not what they are doing. It's now. like they should fight the world together. They should fight the world together. Okay, the question, I because it, 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 there are some people from other levels of education, they have been coming up with this argument that it has always been that ASU has been so selfish in their approach to fighting for the, the quality of education in Nigeria, that they always fight for themselves. At the end of the day, they increase their salary, they answer them whatever they want to do, and after that, and that's why we are where we are today. What do you have to say to that in just few sentences? Well, I, I, I we don't want to see it that way. Mm. I would not want because to... I still have something to ask you about that. Oh. So go, go, go ahead, sir. Yeah. I, I will not want to see it that way. Mm. I don't want to see Asu as as being selfish. Mm. I would not. I would just want to see Asu as defending what is committed into their care. Mm. And um, you know, if other uh, other levels 
of, of, of education, other promoters of from different levels of education themselves, you know, could toe the line of ASU. You know, it would be good. But I feel like it is ASU that actually, you know, uh, summoned courage to do this kind of thing. It is ASU that actually, you know, uh, you know, decided to refuse. Do you know why I asked you that question? Yes. It's because you said that it shouldn't be the we shouldn't see it as a war for the ASU alone. Okay. That it should be something that we all should fight for. So that means seeing it as our problem. Okay. Now the question is other levels of education are so basic, even more than that of tertiary education. Yes. Because they form the fundamental, they form the basis for which other levels of education are built. So if to today we all know that the primary school teachers they are always at the mercy of the state. Okay. And they are even pay less, in fact, far lesser compared to those people in the tertiary education in their tertiary institutions. The the secondary school teachers they see themselves as second fiddle to those in the higher institution, and these are part of the issues that why can't we fight an holistic fight for education because if you are saying we are fighting for education because we are addressing the issue of education here now if we are saying we are fighting for education at asu level at tertiary level what happens to other levels that leads to that particular um what do we have to say to that yeah th thank you very much you know uh uh you know, back to that question once mm. again let me see you see um asu cannot fight the problem of every levels of education i'm not saying they should fight it okay yes i'm not saying they should fight it but what i'm saying is is it not looking like a selfish game if, on the part of the asu all the time because because uh, okay or well, maybe i should paint it very well for you so that you understand what I'm i i get what you are saying okay i get what you are okay. saying now okay. it's not it's not a selfish game mm -hmm. now like i was trying to say now it is uh university education you know, ASU is in charge of university education to manage. Why can't as they as come together to fight this war together as education? Then that is not the problem of ASU anyway. It cannot be the problem of ASU. Are you saying it is ASU that will go and invite others? Are we saying that it is good that the house is divided against themselves? I'm not saying it is good either. Okay. But I'm not. But what I'm just saying is the fact that it should not be the problem of ASU alone. Mm. It is a general problem. Mm. It is a general problem among those people that are managing different levels of this education. Mm. Like I said earlier on, if ASU is managing the university, or let me say the tertiary education generally, mm. when you talk of secondary level, we have people that are managing it as well. People that have been put in charge to manage this thing. Mm. What are they doing? When you talk of this primary school level, we have the people that have been put in charge to manage it. What are they doing? Mm. But like I said earlier on, other levels of education, those who are put in charge to manage it, have not summoned enough courage among themselves to do what ASU is doing. But I think there is something seriously fundamentally wrong okay. Okay. with the way we structure things but okay. before we continue with that i want us to go on short break and when we are back i'll still keep firing and maybe you will be on the defensive or you'll be on my side that will decide when we come back thank you all the pain Once again, my name is still Ola John Femi, and the platform is the Solution Plus. And I still have with me Mr. Olua Damilari, is our regular analyst in the house. And what we have been discussing has been the issue of uh, ASU. Maybe in our next episode, we'll discuss other ones. But it seems the issue of ASU is something that we have to 
deal with extensively. And back to you, Mr. Olu Adam Larry. Um, the other time I was saying that, why can't we fight the issue of this education, quality of education, the rise in the quality of education together from primary level to secondary level to a tertiary level? Why can't we do that holistically instead of one sector of the education fighting for its own rights, the other sector fighting for its own? Why can't we fight this war together? Well, uh, yeah, that's a very good question. Mm. Let me see, let me give my saying, but. Indeed, I will first want to begin by saying, mm. you know, it starts with somebody taking the lead. Mm. Now, when someone takes the lead, mm. then it creates an opportunity and avenue for others to follow. Mm. No, in my own opinion, mm. in my own opinion, I think Asu is taking the lead. Mm. And Asu is sending a, a message you know, to other uh, 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 levels of education to those who are the managers of other levels of education that this is something you can also do, you know, to actually, uh, uh, you know, make the quality of education in your own space, in your own field better. And let me say this, you see, when there is a, a, a unanimous action, like when there is a, a, a similar action, when actions become similar, you know, when activities become similar, then it will lead to a unanimous de decision and that will make a kind of formidable thing. Mm. What am I trying to say? I see you doing something I'm doing. You know, we see one or two other uh, individuals doing something we are doing. Before we know it, we come together under one umbrella, under one unit. Don't you, know? you think other sector has been incapacitated? For example, you mean other levels of education? Oh yes, don't you think they are incapacitated in, the, in this sense? I think most of these higher institutions, they have a body. They have a body that can fight the war. But for other levels of education, they have been so divided. We also have the Nigerian Union of Teachers. They have been so divided that some will be, the salary of some of them will be under local government, the salary of some of them will be under states, some will be under federal. It becomes a problem. But for Asu, if you are under state, the state gets to pay your salary. If you are federal uh, university, the federal gets to pay your salary. Oh. And that becomes, it makes them, it, it becomes something very easy for them to come together. Okay. So, okay. so, but, you know, if you look at most of this primary school, I, I, I tell people that the, the issue, the problem they have faced over time has actually re-engineered their thinking, their morale, their uh, their, their personal um, uh, service team, that to the extent that they can't fight this war anymore. Because if, if you remember very well, in those days, they will write uh, at the um, in front, if there is a vacant room for people to come and rent, they will write there, house for let, but not for teachers. I hope you still remember in those yes, days. Yes, yes, yes. So, how do we help our education because we are talking about education here we how do we help our education to be reformed holistically because it's like saying that we want to solve the issue of tertiary education alone forgetting that others are the fundamentals they are the foundation for higher institution because i would like to let you understand very well here that primary education some of us, we had primary, our, our primary education in public school. We had our secondary education in public school. Yes. And of course, university. we went to public university. university. Yes. So, yes. and the only foundation that was laid was from primary school. Because if you don't, if you don't get it right at the primary level, then you are gone. Okay. And with what we have presently, with the where things are, because we conducted several research and we realized that schools, public primary schools, they are not even up to the standard. Mm. They are not even close to standard at all. Mm. Not Don't let us even use up to standard. Mm. They are not even close to standard. So we, what we are saying is, how do we solve this problem holistically? Because if ASU keep get, keeps getting what they want, what happens to others? 
Okay, thank you very much. Uh, le le let me retrace, you know, from uh, the beginning. Mm. You know, I think uh, you began by mentioning the fact that, or by asking that, uh, you know, uh, when we have um, different institution mm. or you no know, of government, you know, handling the salary package mm. of many of these teachers, mm. you know, that in a kind of way, you know, has brought about division. Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, in my own opinion, I, I want to believe. It, it it makes the job easier. Mm. Now, if you ask me, what do I mean? You see, on the first note, now it is easier to assess the uh, lower structure of government. It is easier to you know uh, follow them up. It is easier to uh, be on their toes. It is easier to uh, you know actually get in touch with these people. Mm. And much more importantly, you know, when a uh, group, you know, come together, it, it is easier to mount pressure on such level on government than the way you will do for federal government. Mm. Now, you know, uh, our session of teachers or, you know, of a particular local government can gather themselves together, you know, and match to the local government, for example, go with their placards, go with their some of those things, you know, it is easier to do that. Rather than, you know, people coming from all over Nigeria to go to Abuja. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Mm. The same thing happens to the state government. You know, it is easier to go and, you know, and stage a protest in government do office. You know, do, you, do you know that the... But that, my point is this. You, do, you, know, is you, this. do you still know yes. that the uh, uh, lecturers in federal university, they get their money as uh, as at when due? We have the issue of Lautech. Yes, you are correct. We have my the issue is of this. polytechnics. Based they on your they are hold 18 months in, some, in one state, in one particular state. They are hold 18 months. That is what, you know, that is what I was trying to say. Mm. My point is not the issue of whether uh, the, the, the payment of salary package is divided. I said earlier on that these people themselves mm. must have to someone call it to the line of ASO. I believe it is the issue of their own, uh, 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 permit me to say, self-esteem, understanding their own self worth mm. you know, to actually do this thing. Yes. I believe that is what is in question here. Yes. It's not the issue of whether uh, somebody is paying this salary or who is paying our salary. So that, you are saying that they have a force that is strong enough to fight for themselves. Yeah, they have a force that is strong enough to fight for themselves and they must rise up to that occasion. Mm. I've never seen them rising up to that occasion. That's what I'm saying that ASU is already you know, showing them the way, you know, giving them the language that works for Nigerian federal government. They must also do the same thing. But I've not seen that willingness inside of them, so to say. You know, I've not seen them understanding the fact that, oh, this is our right. We have to fight for it. Mm. Nobody can make you feel inferior without your consent. Mm. You know, they've been in that position because they themselves, they consent to whatever the state mm. or the local government is doing to them. Mm. And, you know, they, 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 they fail to realize their right and they fail to live up to the expectation, you know. I think that is what is going on here. So it is easier for them actually to actually follow up on this thing more than what ASU is doing now. Mm -hmm. In fact, I want to believe, I want to believe that if it's a particular state government, you know, that is not treating its worker well, that is not, um, that has issue with the teachers, you know, it is easier to mount pressure on that state government. If the, the, the labor union, and the Nigerian Union of Teachers and whatever within that state is doing their own, by the time the national also join, it will be a low lot of pressure on that particular state. So thank you very much, Mr. Adam Larry. Um, in order for us not to, our time is fast spent and mm -hmm. we need to round up now so that we won't take much time. Um, I want to ask you, we have the, le the quality of education keeps dropping in Nigeria. In fact, you have said it today that most of our leaders, they prefer to send their kids, their children outside of the country. In fact, we have descent so low that we send our children to Ghana. Mm. We send them to Sierra Leone. This is very we send them to South Africa. Exactly. These are African countries. Even been in the Republic of Yes, been in the Republic. Of course, we have recruiters. 
here in Nigeria, they recruit our children to that place and they tell you once you have money, they just take you. And we keep having, we keep nose diving as an in the quality of, in quality of education. Do you see any solutions to the, this problem of quality of education in Nigeria? Yes, uh, you know, we actually began with the solution. You, know, mm. you asked question on the solution the other time. Mm. And I think, you know, that you know, was what led us to many of those things we've said mm. earlier on today. Mm. Now, solution, apart from the fact that the managers of different levels of education themselves needs to rise up. Mm. I also want to mention that the people, you know, the people that are recipients of this thing, that are the receiving hand, must also you know, rise up to the occasion. Mm. They must not make it look as if you are fighting for your own cause. What is our home? Mm. Mm. They must see it as, you know, an we are attack talking against of education of, in yes, general. Yes, talking they, of education they must see general. it as an, they must see it as, you know, ideology of attack against one is an attack against her. Mm. That if education is, is being bastardized, if education is being made mess of, it's coming to affect us. They should not see the, oh, Asu is fighting for their own pocket. NUT is fighting for their own pocket. You know, uh, this one is fighting. No, it shouldn't be like that. They should see it as if these people are fighting for the right thing. And they themselves must also join in mounting pressure on the government. You know, through any means possible. You know, in order to make government concede to the uh, questions, to the uh, expectations, and of course, to the demand of these people okay so you are you are provide some of the solution of course i'm an education advocate as well okay. and uh, at this point i want to say that you have actually thrown light on some of these the um, solutions to the issue of quality of education in nigeria and our solution will not be complete without talking about funding yes i i i, I think our mind should be more focused the, our government in their budget should show to us that they have a target, a target that is tilted is tilted towards improving the quality of education. Mm -hmm. Because I think we discussed it on this the same platform that what we witness in in past years in just this immediate years, like in 2015, 2016, 17, was a decline, a sharp decline yeah, exactly. in the sharp funding decline. of education. Exactly. In fact, we have never had Such up to 10% of our uh, of our budget upon allotted to education in this government. Mm -hmm. Government. So it means the it shows. I'm only in fine in um, in fine from what we have in our budget. Yes. I'm not saying that's what they have. But it's only showing to us, as me as an analyst, I can only say that it's showing to us that education is not the priority of our government. Very well. Using what we have in the budget. That's and I true. think another thing that we should look at as we are listening to us at home, that we are all stakeholders. Mm. All our hand must be on deck in order for us to improve the level of education. Exactly. I remember in those days, when the children goes to school, when we go to school, when we come back, our parents will ask us to go and take our bath, heat our food. After heating our food, they will allow you to sleep. After sleeping, they will ask you to go and eat. They don't even know what you are eating in the first place. They don't know if you ask, they, they can't even ask you anything, but they just want you to eat. So all stakeholders must come together to help the improvement in the quality of education that we have and government alone cannot afford education private sector should come and help the government in funding education that's why we have ppp mm. a public private partnership yes. we should we have several we have concepts around the world that they've actually adopted ppp and is working for them we also have um i think content too the content of our education, we need to improve the content. The content. We can't be using the same curriculum that we used in 1960 and still be applying it to this jet age. Exactly. It's not, it's not possible. Uh, so the quality of education that we have will, will not be able to measure up to this present world. Uh, there was a time I was discussing with some people. I said, 
we are in a type of education where people learn from the screen. Mm. And the whole world is even moving away from the screen. We are looking at holograms. We are looking at some other technologies. But to today in Nigeria, our children, they don't have access to computer. I can say categorically in some local government in your state. <laughs> I can say categorically, in fact, their primary school, they don't even have a laptop, mm. a single laptop mm. in their principal's office. Mm. Let alone having it as a lab, a, a computer lab. In fact, we have conducted an Endonamo Transformation Global Initiative. We have what we call rural ICT education that we normally do during summer, um, holidays and times that we know that children will not be going to school, we normally conduct this program. And in the process, you realize that some people, is like a miracle to them. Some of these children, it's like as if a miracle has occurred. It's like as if they want to touch a gold. So <laughs> you realize that... They don't even have teacher. Yes, they, they, they don't have. So you realize that the level of education that we have is not tailored to what we actually needed. Mm -hmm. So we need homegrown solutions to some of this problem. We need mm -hmm. homegrown content. We need contents that will be tailored towards the uh, need of the people. That means need content and need based content. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much. Uh, I want to say it's been wonderful speaking to my guest today. Thank you very much. Uh, this nice coming around. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, your name, your phone number. Of course, your... my, my, my name still remains the same. Shaladili Kyodwa Damilari. That's it. And like I always say, you can know, contact me on my Facebook. Yes. Still with the same name, Shaladili mm -hmm. Kyodwa Damilari. My number is still 080 uh, 326 8560. You didn't, you didn't ask them to hook you up this time. <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> yes, um, yes, on this note, we shall be calling it a quit. But before then, my name is Tori Ola John Oluafemi. People call me I am Pizalil. My Twitter handle is Tuaji White, T W E R G Y W H I T E. And across all platforms, you can search for me using that name. And also, you can use I am Bizalil as hashtag, just search through the Google and you get me. And my phone number is 0703065 Once again, 0703065 That's my number. And on this note, I want to say, we discuss solution on this platform. And it's not just solution, but we discuss homegrown solutions. Thank you for listening to us. Until next time, when we come your way again, we let's keep looking for solutions to the problems that we have in our society. Thank you very much. This little light of mine, so I'm gonna let it shine.